Hello and welcome to another Steam Next Fest demo. This time it's for an indie game called A Tale of Paper, a 2.5D adventure platformer where I'm going to be playing as that guy there who's just sprang to life. This little origami character is called Line, and we're going to go on a journey with him. And I really hope you enjoy it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video, and of course if you want to download the demo and find out more about the game yourselves, the links and the details are down below in the description. But here we go, let's begin the Tale of Paper demo. Okay, right, so I'm choosing to play this with a mouse and keyboard. You can choose to use a controller though. Uh, right, so let's see. Okay, yep, yeah, we can jump. All right. There's so many Little Nightmares-esque games that have been created recently. Uh, I suppose after 2 was released, it kind of left a bit of a void. Everyone's trying to copy its style. I do wonder if this is going to be, you know, much more different than the others. Okay, so it looks like we can run here. Uh, so, there we go. Alright, we made it into the next room. Oh, what's that up there? Oh, it's a key! Ah, right, okay. Um, hmm. <laughs> uh, if I can get onto that box, maybe I can jump across? Let's see, is there something on top of the fridge? Ah, well there's a locked door, so that's probably where I need to use the key, right? Yeah, I think so. What's that up there as well? On that beam? Hang on, right, let's see if we can jump up here. A little bit awkward. Uh, hmm. <laughs> a little bit too far to jump for me. Can I... No, I don't think I can jump round either. No, I can't. How do I get that high then? Uh, well, maybe there's a way up here, right? Let's go this way. I have to admit, I, I do quite like his design. A lot of very conveniently placed books and boxes, I've noticed. <laughs> Why is that, I wonder? Oh? Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> we have a rumba to deal with. Wonderful. Alright. So, uh, they're gonna be the villains in this game, are they? Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, okay, right. Yep, yeah, thankfully, Roombas can't jump. Unless, of course, I'm sorely mistaken. Right, this one definitely knows where I am. Okay, uh, it looks like inside that vivarium, there's a, there's a book that's being kept. It's not like a, a monitor lizard or anything like that. I'm gonna go this way. Right. Go on, go on, right. Up and over. Okay, ah, look at this. Uh, surely I can unscrew these. Yeah? Should be able to get through. In fact, I think that's what the book's on about. Hold on. Let's go over here, let's go up these boxes. Maybe I can get a better look at the book. Right, right. Ah, okay. And it's disintegrated, fair enough. I think I just learned a new skill, essentially. Which, hopefully, is gonna get me out of here. Right, okay, so using the power of my paper mind, I guess, yeah, I can I can unscrew bolts now. <laughs> it's, uh, it's very dangerous being a piece of paper, as it turns out. I quite like this sort of playful music in the background. I think as a whole, although there might be some dark sequences, this is going to be a much more light-hearted game than Little Nightmares was. Okay, it looks like there's a, another book. So let's go up there and let's take a look. <laughs> I don't mean to rhyme. Okay, so it's E this time. Ah! And I think this is where this game is going to be much more different than the other Little Nightmares-esque games. In this game, this little origami character can transform, and it looks like he's transformed into a frog here. Amazing! That's pretty cool! Okay. So, yeah, using E I can go back and forth. Wonderful. Seems I can't really walk, all I can do is jump. Ah, but I can jump pretty high, so maybe that's how I get on top of that fridge. Anyway, right. Should be able to get the bolts off. Should be able to go through. Okay. Um, is there full damage in this? No. <laughs> it's one way to find out though, right? 
I've got to say, although I haven't played enough to truly be sold on this game, I do like that it is trying something a little bit different, and it's got this unique twist, this special little gimmick of transforming. It's setting it apart from the other Little Nightmares-esque games. So let's see, now we're back here. Is there anything we can do as a frog? Right. What does that mean? I don't know if I can actually really interact with that. I can jump onto the bed, though, and find out that the <laughs> the duvet is made out of, like, an old newspaper. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Okay, let's, let's keep on going through here. So, I don't suppose I really need to run and jump across the boxes now. This... this room back here. Neil's room. Right, I'm taking a look at this. Who's Neil? Is he the one that shaped me? Hmm. I don't know if I can, like, jump onto the handle and... No. And I don't think I can take those nails out like I can unscrew those bolts, so... Hmm. Um... Okay. Let's go this way. Right. Yeah, that key. That's why there's a drawing of a frog, right? There you go. Okay, awesome! It's a heavy bugger, this key, so yeah, I, I don't think I can transform when I'm holding it. I think as soon as I've put this in the padlock, what I'm going to try and do is get on top of that fridge. Can I still jump with this? Just about, yeah. Nowhere near as high as before, though. Okay. Alright, good stuff. But yeah. I, I wonder if that's going to maybe... Allow me to transform into something else, that that bit of paper up there. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, oh, there is something over here. Okay, there's a... Ah, there's a window back to that room. Yeah. So what have we got around here? Right, let's unscrew these bolts. Let's get this off. Where's this gonna go? Oh boy. Hello. Uh, I'm gonna get closer. Ah, okay. Nothing to worry about. And here I was thinking it might be a Roomba that had gained sentience and grown some eyes. I think I'd be dead if that was the case. You ever feel like you're being watched? Okay, let- oh. Ah, oh, it's not over already, is it? Okay, thankfully, no it's not. I guess we've just skipped ahead a little bit. Alright. Okay, it's it's going to be the frog again, of course. Up and over we go. <laughs> I think I basically just dunked myself there. Right, okay. What's that up there? I feel like, you know, I, I should be able to use them or something? Hmm. I don't know if there's a there's a crouch. I don't think I can really crawl through this, but uh, I, I can't I can't pick this up either. Hmm. Seems a little bit out of place. Let's see. Okay. Over there. Oh boy. Right. <laughs> oh right. What's that down there? Oh, the floor is completely flooded. Let me just test something. Okay. Oh yeah, that's not good. Yeah, that 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 is terrible. You don't want to get the paper soggy. If the paper gets wet, I'm dead. Bit of a shame I didn't transform into a paper boat. Although, who knows? Up next, I could find a book that allows me to learn that skill. Okay, right. Over we go. Okay, going to use Saturn's rings here, I think. Yep, that's right. And oh, it's swinging a bit. Hold on. Uh, onto the chair? The floor isn't lava, the floor is water, but it's kind of the same in this game. Okay. Surely... right, hang on. No, I can't jump up there either as the frog. Hmm. Right, let's unscrew these bolts. Let's go through this vent. Okay. Definitely something up with that though, right? <laughs> I like how they illuminate as I go past them. 
Right, okay. Surely I could slide down here, yeah? It feels like I'm just missing a button, I'm missing a prompt. And again, more uh, balls of paper here. I definitely can't pick them up. I, I, I can't kick them in, or... Mm. Okay, what else have we got? Oh, I see, it's another vent. Right, where's this gonna go? Okay. Oh boy. Oh, uh, <laughs> I see you back there. Yeah, there's a, there's a Roomba that probably wants some revenge. Oh boy. Right, up there. Okay, there's another one. And what's that up there? Okay, it's another book. Hold on. Q? Q. Well, this is going to be a new power. Oh, I see! <laughs> right! So I've transformed myself into a ball of paper, and I, I, I can't control this at all. But thankfully, much like the frog, yeah, I can just switch back when I choose to. Cool. I wonder how many forms you can take in the full game. Ah, so hold on. Maybe... Yeah, we're gonna let gravity do the work. Awesome! Yeah, I still don't have any control, but... Right, now I understand. Um... Okay, so let's do this again. Let's see where this is gonna go, shall we? <laughs> Alright. Alright, oh, yeah, okay, so we're gonna go through that area again. But uh, I suppose this time we can make use of that red tube. And go! <laughs> Alright. We get a proper view of the room now, I suppose. And it looks like I'm going to avoid all the hazards and come out at the other end. Nice! Brilliant. Yeah. The more I play, the more I like this, actually. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, let's go this way. Doesn't seem like the most useful transformation, but it does help me to travel pretty quickly sometimes. Oh, look at this. Okay, yeah. This is definitely giving me a little Nightmares vibe. A little bit of inside as well, actually. Is that another... Okay, there's another little um, origami piece, I think. Maybe in the full game there's going to be a reason to collect those. Maybe if you collect five, you get another transformation? I don't know. But right. We're continuing our journey this way. Oh, no we're not. <laughs> no we're not, because that was the end of the demo. That was the demo to A Tale of Paper, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Like or dislike the video. Overall, I did quite enjoy that. I don't know if it's completely sold me on the full game, but I do like the fact that we can transform. That is at least a difference between all the other Little Nightmares-esque games that have come out recently. So yeah, maybe for that reason alone, this is worth keeping an eye on. As you can see, the full product, the full game will feature more levels, puzzles, and abilities to discover. I think when I saw the trailer to this game, I think I saw Lion transform into a rocket and a, maybe a weight or something like that. In fact, let's take a look at that trailer. So yeah, this one might be worth keeping an eye on. Either way, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you back in another video very soon. See you then. A lot of very conveniently placed books and boxes, I've noticed. <laughs>
<laughs> we have a rumba to deal with. Wonderful. It's very dangerous being a piece of paper, as it turns out. Is there full damage in this? No. <laughs> it's one way to find out, though, right? <laughs> I think I basically just dunked myself there. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, <laughs> I see you back there. Well, this is going to be a new power. Oh, I see. 